Hi, this is Wendy from retirementonline.com. Uh, this video will help you make simple edits on photos using Google's free software, Picasa. Um, I pulled up one of my folders. All my fo folders are listed to the left. And I pulled up an old 2009 Vegas folder. So you can kind of glance at the photos and see if they're, um, you know, which ones you'd like to edit. Or you can just start with the first photo. If you double click, it brings up the photo bigger. Now, as you can see, this one, the stairs are going sideways. And all I'm going to do is come down to the bottom and hit this um, rotate clockwise button, and it puts it the right way. You do have to save them after you edit something, because otherwise it's going to go back to the other one when you end. So just file save like you normally would. And then I'll go to the next photo. That one looks fine. Oh, another one that needs to be rotated. That one looks a little bit um, blurry, so I could use, um, on the right, you can do fill. If you fill um, with light to give it a lighter look, and I like to do um, I'm feeling lucky and have it just edit it itself. That might be a little bit dark or whatever, but I'm just playing with it. And, of course, I saved it again. Um, Okay, this photo I would probably delete. <laughs> um, there's my sister and her husband. And that one looks pretty good. I might try. I'm feeling lucky. I brightened it up. If it's too bright, you just don't keep it. If you want to undo, you just go back and say undo. I'm feeling lucky. It's just all over at the left-hand side. Um, maybe I'll play with that a little bit, too. You can hit crop, and you're going to just drag a box around what you want to crop, and then hit apply, and that becomes the main photo. So instead of seeing everything, I'm just bringing them, and I could I could recrop it again, and just do a crop just on their faces, just to bring them way into focus. They're the ones I want to see, and forget everything else. There's a lot of ways you can do this. Now, if I save it like that, it's going to wipe the full picture, and I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and let's see. That's my dog. She doesn't like to be sideways. Delete. It's deleting from the disk with the right click. Another one that needs to be turned. And I think that one I'll try. I'm feeling lucky. Now it does take, this is, is really making it too bright, so I might not keep that. But it's up to you. It's, it's, it's not, it's fuzzy this way and a little bit unfocused, but I think I like it better that way. This is just as I was traveling around Vegas, just taking photos of whatever I see. There's me and Terry. And I think I'll make us a little bit darker. There, so the feeling lucky did well for that. husband and myself. Now maybe I'll add text to this. So I'm just going to hit the text on the left and shrink it down and say Terry and Wendy. And then you can just grab it and move it where you want it. Um, you, can, you can change the text. You can make it um, larger. You can, um, you can do whatever. Make the color different. But if you like it like that and you want to name the people or name where you were at or, or add the, um, the year or whatever, you have to say apply and then you just hit save again.
think we should do it at public market. As you can see, it's a really easy way to do social network computing research. Uh, the machine code for it is really a lot of fun to do that and you can do it with your phone or your computer or your iPad or your computer and you can do it with your Thank you.